Here comes the toughest slate against their NFC East rivals. The Cowboys losing on the road to the Washington FT, losing on the road to the New York Giants, coming home, losing once again to the Washington FT. I just think that defense is way too good. Week 17, the Cowboys knock off the Arizona Cardinals. Week 18, the Cowboys knock off the Philadelphia Eagles. The Cowboys finish with seven wins. I see the Cowboys as a seven-win team. There's still a lot of concerns about Dak Prescott. There are a lot of concerns with this defense, even though Dan Quinn took over as defensive coordinator. And I think that this team is going to be a middle-of-the-pack squad. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? What electronic? What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Texans in week 18 with a chance to win the NFC West and take the number one seed in the NFC. The 49ers come to SoFi Stadium, beat the Rams. 49ers, 14 and three, number one in the NFC. I know this probably upsets 49er fans who would rather me pick them for three wins. But listen, I got to keep it real. This is a very good team and you're going to be the number one team in the NFC. Stop it. Get some help. But in week 16, I got the Bengals pulling the upset over the Baltimore Ravens, who could be looking ahead to their Week 17 matchup. In Week 17, probably the best team in the AFC, the, the Kansas City Chiefs are in town. They're going to get a win. Week 18, with the Browns needing to win, the Browns take that one as well. So I have the Bengals finishing 4-13, and last in the AFC North, 15th overall in the AFC. I think this will be one of the more exciting teams a lot of fun. Can't wait to see what Joe Burrow is going to do, but a lot of growing pains as well. <laughs> and I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills knocking off the Patriots in week 13 as New England heads into the bye week. But when they return, they got a win over the Indianapolis Colts, a win over the Buffalo Bills here. There's going to be no sweep for the Bills this season. Patriots knocking off the Jags in week 17. And a win over the Miami Dolphins in Week 18. Even though New England has traditionally struggled in Miami, they win that one to finish 11 and 6, take the number seven seed in the AFC, and that will set up a playoff game against the Tennessee Titans. What? Huh? Huh? What? 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 Huh? The Cardinals finished nine and eight. That makes them the number seven seed in the NFC. Their reward playing the defending Super Bowl champions on the road to open the playoffs. Shut the fuck up. That means they will be the number eight seed out of the playoffs. Nine and eight finish, which is good for the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> That's true. You knock off the Cowboys in week 14. You knock off the Eagles in week 15. You knock off the Cowboys again in week 16. And you knock off the Eagles in week 17. Who put together this schedule? And so even with, you know, the troubles that they've had with the New York Giants, they're on the road in week 18. Give me the Washington FT with the victory right there. 10 wins for them. Number one in the NFC East. They are the fourth overall seed. That means they play host to the Los Angeles Rams in the first round of the playoffs. He did not. No, he did not. Oh, no. No fucking me. Bruh. What the fuck?